Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Today, we are going to discuss Chapter 8, Accounting for Inventories. There are four subtopics in this chapter. Definition of inventories, inventory system, inventory costing methods, and effects of inventory valuation on profit. Definition of inventories. Inventory is goods held for sale in the normal course of business. There are two common characteristics of inventories. Owned by the business, in a form ready for sale to customers. There are three types of inventory. Raw materials inventory, work in process inventory, and finished goods inventory. There are two inventory systems, periodic system and perpetual system. Periodic system, no entry is made at the time of sale to record the cost of goods sold. Updates inventory records only periodically. A physical inventory count is taken at the end of the accounting period to determine the cost of ending inventory. Purchase goods are recorded in a purchase account. Perpetual system. The ongoing physical flow of inventory is monitored and cost of the inventory items are maintained on a continuous basis. The cost of goods sold and the balance of inventory are available at all time. Purchase of inventory recorded directly in inventory account. There are three inventory costing methods. The first one is first in, first out, FIFO. The second one is last in, first out, LIFO. And the third one is average cost. Weighted average or moving average. First in, first out. All these items assumed to be sold first. Ending inventory will consist of the most recent items purchased. The cost of the newest inventory items remains in ending inventory. The cost of the oldest inventory items is charged to cost of goods sold when goods are sold. LIFO Newest items are assumed to be sold first. Ending inventory consists of oldest items in inventory. The cost of the newest inventory items is charged the cost of goods sold when goods are sold. The cost of the oldest inventory items remains in an ending inventory. Average cost. This method assumes that the goods available for sale have the same average cost per unit. Generally, they are homogeneous. The formula to compute cost of ending inventory is ending inventory unit multiplied by weighted average cost per unit. In periodic system, it is called weighted average method. In perpetual system, it is called moving average. Thank you.